Hello everybody, my name is Achara, and this is Mad Games Tycoon 2, another episode of my Let's Play series. Uh, first of all, I just want to apologize for no episode yesterday. I was feeling a little under the weather, so just didn't get it out, but here it is now. All right, so first things I want to do, I'm going to make a real-time strategy game, my first one. Before I do that, I want to do a little housekeeping. I want to expand some rooms. So let's take everybody except... Who's good in here? We got an all around, so we'll leave this all rounder in here. We will take everybody else. We're gonna swap the secondary development team and the primary development team, essentially. We're going to expand this room greatly so that we can fit a whole bunch more desks in here. A lot of people we can fit in there now. Um, all right, so we gotta put these heaters somewhere. That heater, singular, I guess. All right, pick up them. All right, so there, we managed to swap them. Um, let's also expand this research room. I mean, I don't need all this space for research, but it'd be nice to get bigger research because late game, if you don't have a big research team, it takes a long time to do research. So now if we want to expand our research team, we can do that quite easily. Um. Can I fit this heater anywhere? Are we gonna have heater issues? Probably. That's the problem with these giant rooms. We'll probably have to put like one of the portable heaters in the middle. I put a heater in the hall, sure. Um, so research is here. Let's grab one of these space heaters or whatever you wanna call them, electric heaters. There. Anybody cold anywhere? No. Perfect. All right. And then here we will make a new sound studio. So this will be, we're going to have two sound studios because they, the desks are so big. I'm not even sure how many um, down desks can fit in here because they're so big. 15. Okay. So we got 16 there, 15 there. All right, so that's done. So let's uh, let's get this game started. Now, obviously, we're gonna have to hire more people and whatnot, but that seems like a problem for future loot. We'll probably do size A for this game. That may change depending on how many features work. Um, do like aliens and like conquest. Where's conquest? All this alien invasion. That sounds like a good name for an alien conquest game to me. We'll go adults since it's an RTS. I'm pretty sure adults is good for RTS. Uh, we should have an RTS engine somewhere. We do. Do I want to make this exclusive for my new console? The Lucera Micro, which is selling quite well. Probably not. Probably wait a little bit before we get an exclusive out there. No, not you because you're tech level two. We need, to, we need at least tech level three. Which means we'll share a wonder player and we'll share a micro. Beautiful. What else is out there for tech level three stuff? The Geo Rio. Definitely nothing that has more than the Mac or the PC. So, all right. Turn on everything. Okay, so we're good with the AI and physics. Sound, we've made a couple games, but this is our first game with primitive pseudo 3D graphics, which, which is okay. We don't know where the sliders go because this is our first RTS. And we'll turn on everything that applies, which is 31 of 30. So I can either cut one thing or make it an A plus game. I think since it's our first RTS and probably isn't going to be great, I'll turn off checkpoints. I don't think I could cut controller or keyboard support because we have both PC and console, or both computer and console in there. So we'll cut out checkpoints. 30 of 30. I'd say we will be making an A plus size game soon. Um, just it is just not that particular game. It's not quite time yet. All right, so our graphics team is currently in training. We gotta remember to swap them back as soon as they're done of the training. I'm gonna assume, is anybody not? Oh yeah, there's a few people in here who don't benefit from the training. So let's pick them up. 
anybody who's over 90 does not benefit from the training so they can get started so at least that means you won't be waiting too too long hopefully for the game when it's done and we will do one game magazine and then three tv ads that'll give us to an even hundred so the their research and console stuff graphics team there research team there's nothing to research did i train them sure let's give them a quick training session in research and away we go dragon rider 3 the horde that was a paid add-on it is now off the market made me a cool 7.7 .7 million though so i'm calling that worth backup development team free update and share hockey 91 it's selling quite well um it's the first sports game we made that actually is selling well um which is funny because my my special genre is sports right the idea of this run was to be you know a sports game primarily focused you know and it just hasn't come to pass because we haven't made very good sports games right so i mean it's an it's an is what it is type situation i guess but kind of funny all right, so graphics team is done training. Let's swap them back into the room. Now we can really get through this stuff. So we will likely be waiting for the graphics team when it comes down to it, and that's okay. All right, so let's do uh, add-on for Industry 6. Dig Factories, which is an add-on of its own, a paid add-on. So it's not selling real good right now. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed. All right, so we got new research. All right, Puzzle Engine was licensed. Made me a cool 1.8 million. Beautiful. Let's throw these folks back into research. Research Tech Level 4. First Tech Level 4. That is a sound chip. All right, so what kind of game are we going to make next? Got to make sure our engines are all up to date, right? Let's see what's popular. We haven't made a first person shooter yet. Maybe we should do that just for the achievement. What is the achievement for that? Let's check. If it depends what, you know, if it gives like mobile games sold, we don't really care about that. Secondary marketing sales. We don't really care about that. So maybe not. So what else is reasonably popular? Building game? We did one building game and it did terribly. We do a fighting game, I guess. How long before the trend changes? 87 weeks, quite a while. Ooh, another survival game? Yeah, we got some options that are they're popular and not saturated. But they're not really games or genres that we're good at <laughs> is a problem right so let's update or let's make sure our survival engine is up to date yeah, it was almost up to date just need to add one thing all right perfect so we'll do that okay so they're bug fixing they're bug fixing sound team is almost done graphics team obviously we know we're going to be waiting a bit for the graphics team. All right. Wow. Squall. Developer and publisher of the year. Stole that from me. But, I mean, game of the year and best soundtrack, I guess, graphics. So that's not too bad. All right. What do we want to do here now? Last through this commission work, probably. All right. So let's continue development. Uh, let's get special marketing done here for this. Re-release for the press. Plus 3%. Beautiful. Another engine license. Not quite as profitable as the last one. But it was still profitable. So that's all that really matters. Um, ooh, sales are up for industry. Oh, it's Christmas season. Let's do... Let's do another Luchera Hockey um, update. And then another Industry Dig update. I think we can probably put this out now. No, graphics team isn't done yet. So we're going to polish it a little more. 
um, research. We got gameplay feature, online multiplayer. I don't know about you folks, but I was not playing any online multiplayer in 1991. <laughs> I think the first time I was ever even on the internet was like 96, I want to say. And you're an engine expert. Just in general, we're going to need some programmers soon because in two years we'll actually have finally have the uh the whatchamacallit yeah that's right the whatchamacallit um mocap studio god i don't know why it was so hard for me to say those to find the words there just trying to see if there's anybody worth hiring mmo and server room unlock we're not we will make an mmo it is not going to be right this second right because we need some time they're, they're just not popular at the at this time right we'll probably wait till the late 90s to do an mmo but we will do one don't you worry the derby five off the market made 31 million nice a whole bunch of stuff we need to research and that is fine let's ship alien invasion 70 to 90 estimated review score i am quite happy with that considering it was our first rts right and our first time with these graphics, you know. Anyway, I am quite okay with that. Yeah, well, I'm thrilled with an 89%. <laughs> Let's be real. That's that's extremely good, considering. Uh, so let's do our normal strategy. Make like 200,000 copies to start. And a few deluxe, a few collectors. And put it on automatic. Then we don't have to worry about it. And do a game report for that. We definitely want to do a game report, right? Since it was our first time in that genre. And we will immediately jump in with another game. Um, survival. Either of our survival games worth any IP value. Arc Survival Devolved is 0.3. What was our other survival game? Jump Out. 0.7. So let's do that. Jump Out 2. Old Vegas. I know that wasn't follow to it. You know what I'm going for there. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Ooh, at some point, um, how many? 11 million with Chair of Wonder Player. At some point, I want to make an exclusive. Holy crap, the micro is selling really well. I mean, it is the holiday season, but still. Those are really good sales. Yeah, let's do a manufacturer exclusive. So the sales aren't going to be insanely good but they'll be fine. And it'll help move a lot of units, right? So that goes there, and that goes there. So let's um, let's copy what we did here. That's not where we, I clicked on the wrong thing. All right, so this is what we did. So that has to go that way, that has to go that way. Oh, that has to go up there. All this needs to come down. Perfect. Okay, 34 of 30. I do not want to cut four features. I mean, I could cut keyboard support easily because it's like $2 million different, <laughs> right? To go from an A to a double A. No, I, I, on an exclusive, I'm going to have to cut a few things. It's just not worth it. Cheat codes uh, for a game that's not going to sell very well, right? Because it's because it's an exclusive. I mean, this will be fine, but yeah, maybe my next game I'll make will be will be where uh, will be double A. Got to make one eventually. Can't put it off forever. I mean, I can, but. <laughs> At some point, you'll start. You'll stop getting good uh, review scores. But you also don't want to jump into it because, like I said, it's a big difference in cash, right? Like huge difference. All right, another engine licensed. And I think I might need a bigger support room or a second support room. By the looks of it. All right, let's do an update for Alien Invasion. Make sure sales stay strong there. 
research. We got an engine feature, gameplay feature. This is probably, yeah, it's a level four engine feature, which I mean, we're not going to be making tech level four games probably anytime soon. So I'm in no rush to jump into that. You got a couple more console things though. So tech level four console might not be all that far away. Possibly. How's our tech level three? Yeah, 48,000. I mean, it was it's doing much better. The holiday season just ended. Over 11 million total. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, what's worth doing an update for? Probably all three of these games are worth doing an update for, but let's see what we're going to do next to make sure the engine is up to date. I feel like I should probably go back to one of my, you know, one of my good IPs. We could do another sports game. Sports is the trend right now, right? And I think the sports engine is probably already up to date. Let's just double check. No, nope, it is not. So let's update that. And we'll probably do another sports game. Probably do a fresh IP sports game. Right? Like uh, like basketball or something. Because we've done football, we've done baseball, we've done hockey. And I mean, there is other more obscure sports you could do as well. And maybe we will. There's another tech level 4 engine feature. But again, there's just not tech level 4 consoles, right? They're not enough out there, in my opinion. So let's do an update for Wichera Hockey. Fourth update. Yeah, they start to get expensive. Like, that's 800000 for this update. But, I mean, it's made $29 million. So I guess, yeah, spending two, was it 2.25 extra million? Um to make a double-A game, well, you'll get it back, I think. All right, Deep Space 10 sales fall sharply. Hey, 800,000 copies, 14 million for my first ever interactive movie. I'm happy with that. I'm quite happy with those numbers. Um, so what do we wanna do here? We think the trend, we think the next trend is gonna be interactive movie. But yeah, so like tech level four, Obviously, PC and Mac go up to tech level four. That's it, right? If we made a tech level four game, it could only go on PC and Mac right now, which is just not, it's not acceptable. It's not what we want to be doing. Um, let's do an industry six update as well. Although its sales are pretty low, we probably didn't need to do an update there. Convenient development just a little bit longer. Okay, we got 3D voxel graphics. That words are hard. 3D voxel graphics. I think we are going to overhype this, or we're going to try to overhype it at least. Everybody is polishing, right? So overhype didn't go through. So this is ready to go. Only 70 to 90. Hmm. That's disappointing. If I'm being honest. I think it'll be close to 90, though, probably. At least I'm certainly hoping it will be. <laughs> I mean, I guess we're not great at survival games, so that kind of makes sense. Yeah, okay, 89%. That's fine. 89% is fine. So we will do our standard SOP, Standard Operating Procedure. Game Report, boom. And sports game oh it is saturated it wasn't saturated when i made the decision oh well we're still gonna do it it'll be fine all right so there's american football baseball there's basketball oh billiards uh remember i kind of get sidetracked now this goes back a few episodes but somebody had made the suggestion back when the chair pocket was my like current level tech console that I should make a, a, a well, a billiards game called Luchera Pocket Pool, which obviously is, I'm not going to explain that joke. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, I'm sure you could Google it. Um, but I didn't think pool was a topic because when I went to pee, pool wasn't there, right? Pool's not here because it's a billiards instead. Um, <laughs> but with that said, I mean, we could do skiing, snowboarding, soccer. 
Actually, let's do basketball. Let's do chair hoops. Hoop it up. Is hoop it up the name the name of a video game? I feel like hoop it up's the name of a video game. So I was thinking maybe just go and hoop it up, but I feel like it, that already exists. Probably going double A here. I would say. Most likely. So Macintosh, PC, Wonder Player, and a micro. Yeah, yeah. I thought about making it exclusive, but yeah. All right, so better anti-cheat. All right, so let's copy our settings from Lucera Hockey 91. Once again, I went to the wrong place to do that. <laughs> uh, where are you at, Lucera Hockey 91? Okay, so these are all correct. That needs to go there. 30, 40. Okay, so we're only going to go size A. Double A's coming, just not yet. <laughs> and, okay, so that's going to need a bunch of marketing. Where are we at here? Chair hoops. And then we'll make it better. Much, much, much better, hopefully. If all goes well. Um, okay, they're doing training. That's my console team. Yeah, everybody's everybody's doing something. Everybody's occupied. All right, let's get this get these TV spots going right away this time. And we will do an update for jump out. So that's doing an alien invasion first. Just kind of go down the list. Yeah, painting robots coming. Yes. All right, so we got yeah we got. All kinds of tech level four engine stuff. But again, until some tech level four consoles hit the market, I don't think there's a point really to doing it, right? It's just, you're kind of throwing money away. Because people, you know, <laughs> you'd be only putting it out for two consoles, right? And I realize my two consoles don't have a lot of users, but it's making people buy my consoles which, as you can see, you know, are quite profitable for the most part. All right, and next. Trend is still going to be the trend for a long time. So RPG, maybe? No, super saturated as well. I don't want to... Like, all the things I'm good at, like the genres that I have my big IPs in... They're all super saturated, right? Like RPGs, I got a puzzle franchise. I got a strat. Ooh, no strategy. Yeah, okay, let's do strategy. Let's update our strategy engine here. Or make sure it's up to date. I mean, let's be honest. I think strategy is our biggest. Our biggest IP at this point. Or if it's not, it's close to it because it's not to be for Mac or PC though, because it does have tech level four stuff. Um, because yeah, the uh, the Candy Crash kind of didn't do well last time, right? Oh, it's still technically more popular than industry. Ooh, chair hockey up there now. After this most recent good version of the game. All right, so maybe I will have to do another Candy Crash soon as well. At some point. A visual novel. What's the difference between a visual novel and an interactive movie? You know what I mean? Like, I feel like those two things are very similar. Right? Market research, yeah. They think interactive movie is going to be the trend. So probably don't do another sports game after Lucero Hoops is is done i would say yeah 82 percent of people still want arcade cabinets so maybe i i could do an arcade cabinet but yeah <laughs> right oh we got a legendary sound artist let's grab them Ooh, we got a couple of hireable sound artists 
All right, so this, we're just going to pause with them, right? Because they can't really do anything else right now. But we also had that sound artist who was an all-rounder. We like having all-rounders in our main development room. What we got going on here? Visual novel, let's grab that. Crazy Games Tycoon 3 is about to be off the market. Jump out to Old Vegas. It's not selling well. <laughs> I mean, it is. It was a console exclusive. Let's see if we can kickstart sales with an update. We might lose money on this. <laughs> Honestly. Which would be bad, obviously, but not the end of the world. Pipe board as well. Pipe up my new consoles, not my old consoles. See, so yeah, how are they doing? Do I want to... 9,800? No. Or let's actually, let's... Super Luchera Vision. Luchera Pocket, I think, is worth hyping still, though. It's still selling 13,000 a week. Right? I think it's worth it. And commission work. We're ready to make a strategy game next week. Our console team is ready to make a console, clearly. To new development, so let's do a uh, re-release for the press. And I think we're gonna overhype. We'll try it. I mean, it's probably gonna fail. Probably gonna accomplish nothing. Yeah, it did. Oh my god, that's a lot of stuff to research. Holy research, Batman. Alright, so... <laughs> gonna be pretty close... To um, actually making a Tech Level 4 console here soon. So they need... Okay, so one of these... I think this one... We're researching right now. And then the case and the controller we're researching... Will be queued up. So we'll only be two things away from a full tech level four console. And I will probably put one out, I would say. If I want to polish this up better. At least 70 to 90. No. Let's get it out. Let's get it out. No point. It's not going to get that much better through polishing, right? I mean, there you go. It's already 92%, which is pretty darn good. All right, um, that I believe will do it for this episode though. Let me just set the, <laughs> before I forget, cause I'll forget at the start of next episode. Let's get those started. Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I apologize again for not having an episode yesterday. Just wasn't feeling well, just wasn't feeling up to recording. It happens, but hit the like button, subscribe. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you very much to my current patrons. Couldn't do it without you. Most importantly, though, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.